Hello everyone, it's Kay here yet again on my third video for today, but it is my last, so I won't be bothering you for a little while after this one. Um, in front of me I've got three of a four pack of paper bags. Again, something that I got whilst Gary and I were away, and it was based on a theme of, of the pocket card, or bag of goodies as, as some people have called it on their video channels. And um, we were in the works, there seems to be a works everywhere, praise the Lord and hallelujah, because we were in Wales and they, the part of Wales we were in really didn't have very much of a way of crafting items, but the works came to my rescue. I bought this bag of bags for a pound and they were actually four in the set, which I was absolutely delighted with. They are absolutely great quality, made of quite firm, good quality, almost card. The string handles, as you can see here, go deep within the pocket of the bag and are extremely well secured. They've been taped and tagged and so on to keep them in place. They've got a very nice gusset on them, which is actually quite wide. A nice firm base here, about an, an A6 envelope size, I guess you would say. So I proceeded to work on one of the, the bags to show you how it comes out. And this is what I came up with. Now this is one of the bags that I've turned into a pocket in the front just by using a Martha Stewart punch. Some leftover laces from Amanda's... Amanda Charlesworth's Scrimpy's Craft Closet on Facebook. Um, a lot of exciting things going over on Scrimpy's page. It would be advisable if you are a little lace monster to go along, have a look, see at what she's doing for her customers. She goes well beyond, above and beyond to keep her people happy so I am delighted to be able to promote her channel as well whilst I'm doing this. Um, you'll see that I've used some designer paper again it's end of range stuff from a pad I bought ages and ages ago and I am trying to use up stuff that I've got here because I have an uh, amazing collection of stuff that I really can't use all in one go. Um, so there is the front of the bag with the lovely lace, as I say, the four little flat back hearts here. I made three different tags and you'll recognise some of the paper from the previous video. Just threaded some um, ribbon through the back, left them plain so they can be addressed or not as you please. On the back, more of the designer paper, I've just rounded corners. I've placed a really pretty lace doily and a larger applique from one of Amanda's items that she also sells in her shop. And to me, that is a pretty, pretty bag. In the bag, I've made some goodies. There are three decorated paper clips as you can see trying to utilize what I've used already where possible because it is about using things up and they are three heart shape which I've just put on a belly band with the rounded corners there a little bit of lace a flower just to make it all look quite pretty and then I've made two cards there is the first one, again using scraps of designer paper, a stamping up floral punch and some flat back gems. The card is lined and plain inside and I've just used the Martha Stewart punch twice on each side to um, marry up the design on the edge of the card. And the second card opens up the other way. It's just a banner with one flower, then two little smaller ones with different coloured gems. Again, the Martha Stewart border punch and the package is lined. Now, what I'd like to do is offer this up to my UK subscribers. 
all you need to do is say tag me in because of the tags in the gift and this will be drawn next weekend so I hope you'd like to take part please um, if you could do a VR for this little giveaway I would appreciate it just to keep the subbies coming thank you very much and good luck if you decide to take part in this little giveaway bye bye for now